Oh, hey there. Didn't see you come in. Sneaky little devil. Not now, Billy. <laughs> I'm trying to teach my friends about science. Oh, what is that? <laughs> you want to hear about my friend Billy? Well, Billy's a mutated human being. A mutation is a random change in chemical nature of genetic material, DNA. Well, to show you more about DNA and mutations, let me take you downstairs to the mutation laboratory. Oh, hey, fellas. It seems you met my assistant, Dr. Pizer. Good evening, Dr. Alzlach. Who are these fine batch of homo sapiens? Oh, these fine people? I met them in my lab this morning. They were curious to find out more about the subject of mutation. Mutation? Well, that's a hard subject. Are they up for the challenge? Well, uh, by golly, I think they are. Oh, oh. I have oh, a call. I, I think I better go. Well, this is Igor, anyway. He's a perfect example of the mutagenic agent of radiation. We found... He was in the bombings of Nagasaki and Hiroshima in 1945. And we found him in a tree, totally naked. Okay. He was really funny. If you want to find out more about Billy and all his mutated friends, watch this informative video. Mutations. Let's start from the beginning. Mutations may be classified as chromosomal alterations or gene mutations. There are different types of mutations. One, addition, or point mutation, is a portion of one chromosome is attached to another chromosome. Two, deletion, is when a portion of a chromosome is taken away from a chromosome. Three, substitution, otherwise known as translocation, is the transfer of one section of a chromosome to a non-homologous chromosome. And last but not least, inversion is when a portion of a chromosome breaks off and then becomes reattached to the same chromosome in an, inver in an inverted, upside-down fashion. Though these mutations are usually random, there's something called a mutagenic agent when it increases the random incidence of mutation. A very well-known example of mutagenic agents is the common household item of radiation. Radiation can be found anywhere from x-rays, ultraviolet lights, even cell phones, all the way to atomic bombs. A well-known instance of atomic bomb radiation expulsions was in the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945 during the Second World War. These radiation expulsions affected the sex cells, meaning that the, that the mutations can be passed on to the offspring. The effects of chromosomal alterizations are usually quite visible in the phenotype of the organism, meaning that the mutation is easily viewed, such as this young Japanese child shown on the screen below. Genotype and phenotype, what exactly are they? Well, the phenotype of the organism is the actual visible organism, as you can see it, just like this child right here, obviously a mutant. But the genotype is not as obvious, meaning that only the gene is affected, not the actual organism as you can see it. Another mutagenic agent that can be found in your medicine cabinet at home are chemicals. Chemicals such as formaldehyde, Benzene, asbestos fibers, THC, and even nicotine found in cigarettes can be harmful and may even cause a mutation. That's a message to all you smokers out there. Stop smoking, or you may get a mutation and die. But the adaptive value of a gene mutation is not only dependent upon the DNA, but also the environment with which the organism interacts. I'll give you three examples to help you understand. One. Many green plants contain chlorophyll for food making, but if these leaves are screened from the light, they stop making chlorophyll. 2. Identical twins raised in totally different environments may be vastly different in intelligence. 3. If some white fur is shaved from a Himalayan rabbit and the area is kept cold with an ice pack, 
Black fur will grow back in its place. The gene for black fur is active only at very low temperatures. But the study of mutations has also helped us. The knowledge of genetics is making possible new fields of healthcare. Mapping of genetic instructions in cells makes it possible to detect and perhaps correct defective genes that may lead to poor health, i.e. C-splicing. Substances from genetically engineered organisms may reduce the cost and side effects of replacing missing body cells. We hope you enjoyed our movie, because when we make a movie, we don't just make it informative, we make it fun. And because you people were such a great audience, we're going to give you the pleasure of watching one of our favorite pictures. Thank you.